hello everyone last session we discussed about the the load angles and and direct axis and quadrature axis so some relation we discussed about that but we should discuss some depth about the mmfs so here just look at here the armature poles and mmf are feel all are same the armature poles and armature mmf and armature field as also stationary with respect to state r such that two fields are stationary with respect to each other before discussing this just look at here here the main field poles are mmf stationary with respect to state r just observe here the main field poles are always constant there is no change in the main field poles so that means if you look at these poles this is the main field two pole system these are always constant there is no change so main field poles are always stationary with respect to stator so otherwise look at this diagram just look at the diagram if the poles are started north pole and south pole these north pole south pole are fixed these places will not be changed if the four pole decimation is there here also north pole south pole north pole south pole is there these places are fixed there is no change with any parameter changes in the dc this is the first point the second point is the armature poles or mmf feel also stationary with respect to stator so look at here let's look at here here once south pole north pole is formed south pole north pole is formed these are also fixed there is no change that means just i will write again here the south pole is there here the north pole is there once one south pole one north pole is formed then these are always constant these north pole south pole is constant there is no change in poles and here these south pole north pole is also constant there is no change of the uh, armature positions also okay right that, that is the important thing here the armature field poles so these poles will rotate in opposite direction to the rotor rotation this is very very important thing so generally rotor will rotates for example rotor is rotates in this direction so rotor is rotates in the direction the anti clockwise direction armature poles will reverse direction this is the rotor for example this rotor rotates in this direction then armature poles will be in this direction because it may be generator or motor anything it should be rotated it should be it is this, this is the rotor rotation rotor rotation this is the armature poles rotation armature poles rotation right this is also very very important thing here the armature field poles rotates at double the rated speed with respect to the rotor because look at here if the rotor is rotate with some speed ns the armature poles also always rotate with the synchronous speed and this is also rotates with the synchronous speed then in order to find out the armature poles rotation with with at double the speed of the rotor so how we can find out so generally the armature poles are rotates with in this direction ns and the rotor will rotates in the direction of this speed so we can take it as relative speed we can take it as the relative speed why the armature poles are rotating in this direction that means clockwise direction rotor rotate with the anti clockwise direction this is with the synchronous speed this is with the synchronous speed then relative speed we can write this is the ns minus minus of minus ns then it will become 2ns so that's why the armature field poles rotates double relate related speed with respect to the rotor speed with respect to the rotor speed these are the three very very important points these are very very three important points one second we recollect this the point c is the first point the main field poles 
are MMF always stationary with respect to state arc. First thing. The second thing, the armature poles, MMF or PD poles always stationary with respect to state arc. Such that two fields are stationary with respect to each other. So armature field, we have the armature field and uh, sorry, armature MMF, not field, armature flux or field flux. Field MMF stationary to each other. Stationary to each other. Yeah. Here, this is the first second thing. This is next third thing. The armature field poles will rotate opposite direction of the rotor rotation. So field poles will be rotate. Rotor, for example, rotor rotation is this side, the field poles is this side. Yes. Next, the armature field poles rotate at double the rated speed with respect to rotor. This is very, very important thing. So the relative speed between the two speeds are like this. Okay. These are the very, very important points to understand the field MMF, armature MMF, field poles and armature poles. Uh, the relative speed between the all the fields and the uh, parts of the motor. Okay. Next, we will entering into the next topic is the construction of the DC machine. Up to now, we discussed about the working of how it works, working of DC generator and DC motor and commutator and what are the different fields are available in the commutator we discussed here. Now we will discuss in the construction of the DC machine. Here in the construction of the DC machine, the first is the magnetic frame or yoke. The first is the magnetic frame or yoke. So you know that the yoke we already discussed in the induction machines it is useful to return path for the flux okay next second thing pole arc or pole shoe so pole arc name itself it is related to the pole poles we have the poles armature poles are field poles and it, it pole has some core and some shoe and this is the armature core so this pole core pole shoe i think this is related to field field armature core means it is related to armature related to armature next next thing is, is commutator you know the importance of the commutator it is very very important part in case of the DC machine and this part is not available not available remaining machines it is only available in the DC machines next the brushes brushes are very very important thing it is used to collect the current and next the armature winding armature winding these are the different different parts those are useful to understand the construction of the DC machines. So in that the first part is the magnetic frame or yoke. Name itself it is a magnetic frame or yoke. So look at here the generally magnetic frame or yoke look at here yoke is made with the cast iron and cast steel. So Sometimes it made with the cast iron, sometimes it made with the cast steel. Cast iron is for small machines. So we have some small dish machines are there. For that it is useful to design with the cast iron. And for the large machines, it will be designed with the cast steel. Because steel has more advantages, that is, it has less reluctance for the magnetic field, magnetic flux. So but iron, iron has more reluctance compared with the steel. Right. So here, for large machines, just observe here diagram. This diagram is, for example, this is the north pole, this is the south pole. The flux lines travels from north pole to south pole, and after that, it will flow from this. This path is known as magnetic frame or magnetic yoke. Okay, and this is also it will be divided it will be flow the flux lines also flow like this the direction is in this direction so here also direction this is also direction so this is useful for return path this is useful for return path if there is a return path then it will be allowed to flow the flux otherwise there is not possible to flow path same as a current it is also so this complete part is known as the yoke this complete path right here 
for large machines no laminations are required because reluctance are. generally you know laminations what is the importance of the laminations lamination is done for any code like this then eddy currents will be not possible to generate okay here that, that is the thing only for large machines no laminations are required because uh, the reluctance of cast steel is half of the reluctance of the cast iron that's why we are not doing la laminations so the flux is double so if the flux generated by the cast iron is phi then by the cast steel it should be the 2 phi flux will be double therefore the cast steel large rating of the machine size are comparatively small so if you look at here if we are designed with the cast steel it has some large rating but looking at the size it is the small machine okay size size if you look at the size cast steel is small in size but it has high rating it has high rating but size in small okay this is about the magnetic frame or yoke and these are the part okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you